So that was like Sasquatch or something. Yeah, he moved very much like the... Oh god, what do you call that? The swagger. Hello? Well, technically that happens in, in the woods all the time. Things falling from the trees. Mm-hmm. I guess I go to the orange stuff now, wherever that is. Oh, there it is. Was this here before? I swear this was a dead end. Maybe I'll just focus on that there. Don't remember. <clears throat> so we got Moose Elk Man and Sasquatch in this area. Ooh, maybe. And loot. Or maybe Moose Elk Man is like. Where Moose Elk Man? <clears throat> Smuggler Cave Secrets. You want to do the voice for this one? No. <laughs> I can read it <coughs> without a voice, but... Sure, you can do that. All right. Uh, Jan told me there's a cave hidden in the forest where many years ago thieves from the city hid precious contraband. When they were caught, the cave was searched and the valuable items were confiscated and removed. As I knew a few interesting stories about this area, I pestered Jan for every detail he knew. We searched for the cave for weeks, with only a vague idea of its location. Eventually, on one of our many rambles in the forest, I found it, exactly as it had been described. The boulders flanking either side of the entrance, the hanging ivy partially obscuring the holes in the rock face, the fallen log perched curiously above it. I wanted to go inside, but the daylight only penetrated a few feet into its depths. I'd had the illogical thought that maybe something precious had been left behind there. Jewels that had fallen into the cracks of the floor and gone unnoticed. Money that had been hidden extra securely amongst the stalagmites and not been found yet. Gold pieces buried under the thin layer of dirt in the floor. Jan convinced me not to go in. The ground was slippery and uneven, and without a light to guide our way, we could get lost in the branching tunnels. I never returned to explore. I think it's for the best. If I'd have entered the cave, it would have it would have been empty and only filled with my disappointments. Since I never went back, in my mind, it remains an untouched cavern filled with riches, a room of lost, glittering treasure and precious memory. Okay, so apparently that's where we need to go, possibly. Yep. Also, I realized that apparently when we have the uh, the thing out to read, the game does not pause. So I want to see if I can... Oh, that was a Sarah note, finally. No, I think the game keeps going even here. There appears to not be a pause. Ooh, 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 is this a... Yes, it is. I'm getting a lot of saves. Oh, oh that hurt me so bad. But I am immune to this fire oh, now. No, I think he's getting off on it. <laughs> uh, let's see. I. Right. There's apparently one left. Maybe. Where's I again? There it is. <clears throat> okay, so. <clears throat> Forpal Bunny. Smuggler's cave filled with gold. See stones flanking the side, hanging ivy. I don't see hanging ivy here. What is that there? Might be there. Okay, maybe it's more this way. Sasquatch! Maybe it's our moose elk man. That's an ominous red. Oh, I see what you want me to do, game. You hear that? Your heart's racing in the game. Whoa. My guy does not like this at all. Hi! Yes, I can. Okay. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Um. I guess I gotta go this way now. But I wanted to go up to that. Okay. Scripting. What was that on my. Okay, nothing. Sasquatch? Okay, so that's where we were. I guess I could drop down whenever I feel like it, but let's go this way instead. Oh, this is up into Sasquatch land. Mm hmm. That's the space where we ran across. Yep. So, how did we not see him on the way up? Unless he turned around while we uh, fell. And he's ahead of us. Very wistful right now. False sense of security. Got a lot of conveniently placed planks, too. It's almost like somebody wants us to go this way. Like we're being led to something. Like this uh -huh. is entirely intentional. Mountain goat! We'll wait until the Eldritch Fog subsides. So that I can see where I'm going. Uh, okay. I'm going this way. What is this? It's an arm bone! All of them, actually. With hand bones in, in, in included. I got... Paleontologist. Can I investigate that? Skeleton, ritual element. Okay. You found one of six pieces of a skeculin. How do I get back? Not that way. What was... Wait, is it intact now? Is the path intact now? But it broke! And stuff fell in place to make it solid again. It's very smooth. It's like it was fused. It's like it was never broken in the first place. Okay, so you found an arm. So there's a necromantic geomancer that made the wall solid again. <laughs> Sasquatch. Dun, dun, dun. His name is Sasquatch. Sasquatch is our necromantic geomancer. Okay. I'm gonna drop a hot little save over here. Boom. There we go. Oh, okay, that's a leaf. I thought Sasquatch was doing something up there. Uh, let's check out the map. I have. N we went this way. But we didn't encounter this guy. Not yet. Smith is not exactly as informative as, as I thought it would be. That's what makes it scary. It's a crude map. Okay. Moving on. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Sasquatch is there, but I, I was zooming in on that. The uh, ritual stones are, uh, glowing. Lit. That stone's lit, man. Ah. Uh. I think I'm going this way. I guess follow Sasquatch. He knows where we're going. See, I went up there, there was, there was just, like, green everywhere, but... We hit, a, we hit, hit, we hit like, a trigger event, so maybe it's different. Maybe? Oh, no, that's right, because inside there was the uh, save point. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's what's important about this area. 
So we just go back now. See, how, how far can I run without needing to stop? Hello, There's Moose Elk Man! the Moose Elk Man. Well, he's not trying to attack us, I think. Yeah, that was me. Did we empower Moose Elk Man by taking the Skelkelin? Okay, so we're back here at this. I guess we go this way now to the uh, evil bunny. I see red inside. I see purple. Sounds oh, that's good. right. I lit that thing. We went partially this way, and then I got that sort of feeling like I got it turned around. It looked like something was there and moved well, further ahead. Like as you were going down this path, oh. like the guy or the moose went to the left of the screen. Could it have been that? Oh. That's odd. Ah! It's like, it's preventing, it's like... So see, see the way the volumetrics are right now, this should be kind of greenish, but it is, it's like... Pitch black. It's like it's casting negative light this way. And canceling the light we would see from the, the volume. So there's something glowing like a mushroom right there. Or a note. Mm. A so note. make sure this is not a trap. Oh, it's a trap. <clears throat> it's the bunny! Fluffy friend. <clears throat> okay. My father never liked my frequent trips into the forest. As a deterrent, he used to tell me tales like of feral wolves that roam through the trees, hunting in packs and ripping apart any animal or human they encountered. Like, really? To this day, I believe the wolves were nothing more than, than stories told by an overbearing parent because I never saw, heard, or sensed a presence. Like, I think that's because the forest has always been a beautiful and peaceful place to me, exactly the way I imagined it from books. Not that I read or anything, but, you know, I've heard about books. Not the dangerous place that I was told existed beyond the tree line. When did a southern drawl enter into this? You've had like a southern drawl for everybody, like their country folk out in the southern to midwest <laughs> nowhere land. Every step I take deeper into the forest highlights its beauty, its sweet smell of flowers, the harmony of singing birds. Squirrels that jump skittishly from one tree to another. I noticed something. Have you noticed this before? That's what? One of, two of. Da, 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 yeah. Da. yeah. Okay. Mm, one, two, three, two, no. Any of the insects that find their haven amongst the fairy plants? Uh, one particular sunny day, I was walking in the forest and I heard a noise from the bush. It was not a rustling of le wind or leaves, but you know something like lurking in the undergrowth. My mind. Uh, they're normally calm amongst the trees. Yeah, this does not sound like a valley girl. I think that's why I'm slipping into, into like a southern drawl. <clears throat> yeah, you start out like a pretentious teenage girl, and now you're just like southern belle, who's like, you know, my father is so annoying. He's trying to scare me from all the fluffy creatures of the forest. <sighs> uh, my mind, they're normally calm amongst the trees, meaning to jump through the thoughts of wolves wanting a pals like i took a cautious step back and uh as as though it's suddenly seen its chance to escape a rabbit jumped out of the underbrush and bolted for its hole <clears throat> like the next day like totally i returned with a carrot for the rabbit and placed it in front of its home this is a clue if we don't have the carrot we need the carrot uh, within 30 minutes it reappeared, sniffing the food cautiously and allowed me to get a better look at it. Its coat was a shining silvery gray and, like, its right eye was a perfectly circular patch of black fur. Within two weeks, it was eating out of my hand. Like, totally! It was awesome! But I was bravery was short-lived, as comfort in the presence of humans made it an easy target for the settlement hunters. Sometimes I think animals deserve more sympathy than humans. Like, totally. I'm vegan and stuff.
place your carrot offering here on the rune stone. Okay, and treat. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And he spits out a human head. Hi, evil bunny. Hi. That's a big bunny. Okay, not a human head, but I was close. <clears throat> okay. All right then. Oh, I get it. It's like a reference to biting the hand that feeds. He literally bit off the entire arm. Hmm. I'm looking for stuff. I don't think it was the girl. I think it was the, the settlers that, you know, hunted it down, killed it. And then he got revenge. What is this? Deathcap mushroom. I was looking at the red right there. Oh, this Nirn root. You need to harvest it. It doesn't look like near It's not even chiming. But I see purple up here. We know what that is. Our last shrine. Wait, it's already lit? Already lit it. Well, I guess That's we save. anyway. Okay, so we got the arm thing. We got the other arm thing. Now we need his rib cage, his two legs, feet, and his skull. I need one more of these, two more of these. Map. I guess that's all there is here. It's just the uh, evil fish. And moose elk man. We went down there. Remember? We didn't, like, encounter him. We just ran away. That may have just been to scare us. Sasquatch? Ooh, the stones are lit. They've been lit. But, I mean, the ones over here have not been lit. Maybe the lit stones tells you that you're, you've finished in that area. Wait a minute. Didn't I put out the fire over there? Yeah... Sasquatch, you've been lighting fires? Hey, here's stuff. Oh! He's glitching all over the place. Little fire stop. Hmm. Wait. It's lit. Someone was in there. Let's go in and find out. Hello, Scarecrow. Hi. He's not happy anymore. He's got a knife. Yeah. Can you take the knife? I can turn the lamp on and off. I hear something outside. Can't turn that off. You can't stamp it out like you have every other fire? Nope. Okay. We cool, right? We cool? We cool? Don't stab me in the back. Okay. We cool? Uh, say what? You see that, right? Yo, the light flickers, he disappears. Maybe it's just like a like a glitch with a window. Ah! 
Hi, birdie. Okay, I guess we go this way now. Wait a minute. Is, is, did this change? I heard a noise. Oh, there's an X in the wall. Can you get that? Oh, was that? That's probably the sound I heard. Is somebody trying to kill me? I can't take it. I guess it came from over here? Somebody throwing axes from over here? Sasquatch? I guess not. Shortcut. I said shortcut. Whoa, what? Oh, that's a boot. I thought it was like a human body. Okay, before we go this way in, I need two more of these. One of those. Two more Sarah notes and one more people notes. And there's one and one in this area. Okie dokie. Probably the fish. Which is probably like some kind of mutant shark thing. It's gonna cough up a skull. Less oh. stone. Yay! E. And it summoned the flies. The Lord of the Flies! What is that? Beelzebub? Uh, what? The, the Lord of the Flies. No, that's a novel. Where these uh, children get trapped on a deserted island and they like, set up their own like, little government mm -hmm. and uh, they basically just regress into the wild animals. No, I'm talking like Dante's Inferno with the nine generals of hell. I don't know about that one. They didn't make us read that in school. Uh, Monster in the Lake. <clears throat> when I was younger, an older boy told me a story about a creature that lived in the lake. He swore that while out walking, he had looked towards the distant shoreline and saw a red glow softly radiating from within the water. Messy! The boy took off his shoes and cautiously waded out, waded inward to get a better view, but as he got closer, it rapidly started toward him. Startled, he backed out of the water to the safety of land. Emerging from the spot he had just occupied, the boy glimpsed the bright red scales, as shark like a jaw and rows of ragged sharp teeth. After having recounted this tale, I told the boy I didn't believe it. Nothing so monstrous could be in creation. In response, he retrieved from his bag an old book, went to a well thumbed page to show a hand drawn picture of the grotesque looking catfish. It was not the creature he had seen, but proof that nature could be more hideous than anything I'd ever imagined before. You're believing a drawing? It's a drawing, not a photo. Even photos can be shopped. I went home in tears my father berated me for believing such foolish make-believe stories, even now, although I know it can't be true. Some parts of me believe such a creature exists, perhaps hiding in a cave deep below the water's surface. Sometimes it haunts my dreams. And then I'm the boy swimming out in the lake. I see it beneath me, coming towards me, but I'm powerless to move. When it grabs my leg in his jaws and drags me into the depths, Feel no pain, only the sense of relief that comes from succumbing to the inevitable. It's strange to think that I would stay away from the lake, but more than ever, I find myself drawn there, hoping to catch a glimpse of the mysterious creature from my nightmares. Look at the handwriting. I know, it's complete chicken scratch. It's like my handwriting. I think it's worse. Oh, froggy! Watch out for cars, they smash you. Okay, so... It's obviously bait. Yeah. Trap thing. Let's do it. Let's go around the outside first. If I can. If, if I can. If I can! There we go. Nothing interesting here. 
This goes in this. We're missing some notes. What notes are we missing? One and one. I think that's one of them out there. Yeah. Let's try the other side. So this is either a, a trap that like gets us killed, and we have to figure out some sort of like trick to uh, you know get out there without getting got, or it's it's just like a scary ghost story. It's meant to freak us out, but it, we're perfectly safe to go out there. One of two options, basically. Okay, let's uh, try the direct approach. If I can find it. I mean, we saved, so uh, pretty good. Okay, here we go. Can I swim faster? Can. Okay, I'm on land. No monster fish on land, okay? Ah, it's a hip bone. Hello, evil fish. Okay. But we're missing... It might notes. be underwater. We're missing two notes. Yeah, when you were swimming, you could kind of see underwater, so maybe... in the water or beyond the water with the scary fish guy well worse that happens is we die <gasps> um um I, I don't know what's happening <gasps> I don't know what's happening Okay. Um. This is different? Bait. Okay, so this is part of the scripting. Gotcha. <coughs> That's you just coughing up blood and water. No, I mean, I see. Oh, well, well I, I banged my knee, apparently. Let me see my right knee. Right knee. Right knee. Yeah. It's... Was that always banged up? I can't tell. I think it was always banged up. But apparently the, the fish ate us and then pooped us out here. We're in this toilet. And hopefully the last two notes are in his toilet. Mmm. Toilet notes. Or... No, they're not up here. Interesting. When we go to the toilet, it gets flushed down and goes to the ocean. When fish go to the toilet, it gets flushed up into into in, into our mountains. Seems logical. Neat. But where are the other two notes? It's gonna drive me crazy. Where are the other two notes? Are they back in the uh, first area, or are they like in little stupid areas like the this? Music? Yeah, it's very wistful. It's getting kind of dark and creepy. This is not dark, creepy music. This is like sad and wistful, but kind of bittersweet. You know, bittersweet that we've made progress, we've done everything we technically need to do, but we're still missing two notes. <laughs> This one, oh, oh, okay, that's the map. The fire's back. Go away, fire. You will burn the forest down. Uh, why is my vision all weird? Why is my vision all weird? Don't know. Been doing that off and on. What's happening? 
Dun dun dun. I, I hope we didn't progress to the next section because I wanted to go back and find those two notes. Hello, game. So, like, snarling and something dragging you. Uh. Uh. Ow. What? I can't move. Uh. What? I guess somebody threw me down here? What? I... Still says zero, zero. And... Okay, so we're still in section one. Okay. So that means I can still find those two notes. Looks like it. There's something in a circle and the rest of them are praying over it. There's that weird sickle thingy again. Oop, wrong way. I saw some sort of shadowy thing. Fall. Oh. Uh, what? What? Oh, we got magic. This is like Final Fantasy magic. Oh, my shadow. Look at my shadow. I am so big. <laughs> okay, focus. I got nose to find. And a laundry ticket. Still haven't found my laundry ticket. Pretty sure I don't want to fall. So what do you think is the significance of this? No idea. Like some kind of weird... Ritual? Those are like altars or stones or something? That That's the person and that's the weird little sickle flame thing and like you said, the, the hands of God or Cthulhu or some other worldly being? Or... It's Pinocchio with boobies. And these are Geppetto's hands. Mm. Yeah, that's it. He's trying to figure out what's being a cup, these, a B these cup, are the a cameras cup, that are the paparazzi. No, no, those are the boobs. A cup, B cup, C cup, or D cup. Mm. Oh, a note. I think. No, it is not. It okay. is a broken druid staff of bad juju. Oh, okay, so that's what the, uh, dark shadows are. Let's run toward them! The falling stones. We can have a note hiding here anywhere. What was that? Uh... That's like the abyss. Gates of hell. Or it's a jacuzzi. Yeah, I don't think so. I feel like like one of those like like whirlpool jacuzzis. These people are like, woo! This is so much fun. These people are like, oh, I want to go in there, but I, I'm 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 too busy getting my tan. Mm-hmm. Look on the ground amongst the rubble. There was something. Yeah, right there. Yeah, another one of those broken stones. Okay. No laundry ticket. Uh, Moose Elk Man? No, no, that's that creepy dude from the uh, Little Misfortune. Yeah, but he kind of looked like Moose Elk Man. Oh, okay. That person's cut in half, that person's decapitated. This dude's mean. The Harbinger of Death. Uh, I feel like this is a point of no return. 
Turn around and make sure you didn't miss anything. Notes. Laundry ticket. Sarah. Plain and tall. Teddy bear. Dr. Zayas. Who? Dr. Zayas. I have no idea who that is. And you're not going to tell me who that is, are you? I don't know either. <laughs> okay. I'm sure I heard it, read it somewhere. I just can't remember. In my brain's like Swiss cheese. Have you been quantum leaping? Maybe. Who are you? I'm Al. Al. Ah. Uh, I'm a hologram. Okay. I mean, I'm not really a hologram, but I'm projecting my hologram onto your, like, masons and something or others. Mm hmm. It's, it's, it's high tech. It's the thing you invented, but, you know. I invented it? I'm like a scientist or something? Yeah, from the future. Trippy. Yeah, you figured out how to, you know, you know quantum leap backward in time uh, to other people within your own lifetime, but something went wrong, and now, now you gotta just, like, leap from one life to another, righting wrongs, hoping that the next leap will be your leap home. Speaking of leaps... Oh... Here we go! The earth is shaking. The ground is quaking. You've upset the dwarves. Or it's an Aerosmith song. Mm. You shook me all night long. What was that? I can't move and we got Cthulhu tendrils going around me. Uh-oh. Do you know where my laundry ticket is? Is that a yes? Is this where my laundry ticket is in a chamber pot? I think we may be in section two now. I missed two notes. You can go back. Oh, I know. Loading screens are fun. That was sarcasm. Laundry ticket. Where is it? Uh. Uh. What? Am I supposed to run? now then we're still in section one look that's the that's the lamp campfire the house yeah but you're above it somehow oh these stones are not lit okay i'm assuming don't drop down because that could be and who keeps lighting that fire they're gonna burn the forest down Calm down, Smokey. Uh, hello, Black Bog. I guess I don't you're think I want to go there. This way. Uh, say what? That's... Oh, Moose Elk Man! Yep, that's his summoning stone. You don't have anything to give him an offering, though. Maybe I'll find it up here. Or more importantly, maybe I'll find those two notes and my laundry ticket. The Cursed Forest, the game where you search the entire forest for one laundry ticket. And then you upset the Blitter Witch. 
I can't go that way. I gotta go this way. Uh, this way. Why do I have the hiccups all of a sudden? I don't know. What? Oh, he, okay, there's water down there. Have I been there? Yes. I'm trying to find anything that's like white on the ground. Anything at all. Okay, so that is the little town, I believe, right? So we're going away from the town now. I don't think I'm supposed to do this. Whoa, okay, okay game, okay, okay. Am I? Am I? No. Because look, that is like some makeshift. Yeah, I, I know. The, the game is saying go this way, but what if there's an achievement for doing this? I mean, you'll just fall to your death, so sure. <laughs> achievement! I know these games. Okay, let's get out of the water before Angry Fish Man comes after me. Yeah, I cannot see under that. Now you uh, want to climb back up, see if you missed anything? First of all, let's go up here and do a save. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is section two. In? No? What? You haven't found all the stuff yet. I feel like this is... Okay, we, we got new numbers here. This has got to be section two, right? But yeah, let's go back up and see if we missed anything. And I guess we could dive again. Eh. Eh. I think this path would have been more dangerous. See? I did it the safe way. Counterintuitively. Oh. Oh. Point of no return. So yeah, there's no way to get to the previous area. Yet. Okay. Is this a map? That's a uh, quicksand warning. Don't go that way, I guess. We're probably gonna have to go that way. Uh, it's a tentacle monster coming out of a fountain? No, remember the archway with the hanging ivy? Oh, was oh, this the map? This is a new map, map two. So I'm here, we got houses up here. Oh, we got angry Sasquatch there. We got a bucket, that's the chamber pot. That's where they put my laundry ticket. And we got, we got X marks the spot. We got uh, the quicksand over here. We got the hanged man. And we got the mountains. With teepees? And this. Some kind of flying thing? Or is it an X? No. Kind of looks like an X. But I guess we go to the little huts. That's the wrong button. Tiger has entered the room. Muzelk man! In. Yeah, we, we are in section two now. Awesome. We got five for people. And I missed two notes in the previous one. 
Um... Ooh, angry Sasquatch face. Yeah. <laughs> that one's not cryptic at all. That one is very much in your face. What is up here? What? 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 Okay. That was a nothing. Um... This appears to be an outway, not an inway. Well, Skyrim, you know, the back, so find your way to the front. Mm. I think I want to stay away from the water. I said, I think I want to stay away from the water. <laughs> Get out of the water! Get out of the water! Okay, this just goes back to the water. Okay. The game wants me to get wet. Okay, we got the huts. We got a fence. Where does this go? I can't... Invisible wall. Saved. Hello, campfire. <gasps> oh, oh, a note. note. <clears throat> Alita asked me not to touch him. He said that making him disappear would evoke unwanted attention. But all Yan has brought to our settlement so far is trouble. I remember when he first came to us, he used to make trips into the city, which wasn't normal to any of us. Our settlers don't need people like him. But out of kindness, we gave him a chance. I tried to invite him to my house for a supper cooked by my wife. I thought that by meeting him eye to eye, we would get to know him better. And with an acquaintance, he would become better accustomed to our lifestyle. He refused my invitation, and I invited him hunting. Even this he criticized, telling stupid stories about his past. How he had decided never to take the life of an animal for sport. My dislike for him grows by the day. I wasn't fooled by a moment by, by his uh, innocent facade. That's a fancy word for a hill person to know. Facade. I learned it by a French person that came through here once. Yeah, he came to us pretending to be a saint, but everyone has their sins. Soon he will learn that the past never truly stays in the past. But when we are together, he attempts to turn the conversation towards our leader. Trying to steal information out of me about his family. It unnerves me. He may be untouchable for the moment, but that will very quickly change once we have completed the ritual. And the sinners will get what they deserve. Have you seen the movie The Ritual? Nope. I'm getting very similar vibes here. Hmm. Whoa, guys, before you leave, thank you for watching. I forget to say that sometimes. You don't have to watch, but you do, so thank you. Also, did you know I have a Patreon? I do. Video games aren't free. Sucks, right? So, I need to fund this channel somehow. You get access to a private Discord channel, and if more people sign up, I'll start letting patrons vote on what games I play. Minimum pledge is $1, and thank you to the people who have already signed up. It really does help. And if you're not in a financial position to help support through Patreon, then don't. Take care of yourself first. But do consider subscribing if you haven't already. If the channel does well enough, I can start earning revenue off those ads that YouTube is forcing on all of us. Again, video games aren't free. And once again, thank you to everybody.